Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy JT, uh, opposite from the norm. Before I get started, make sure you like, share, comment, or subscribe. Definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. All right, so, like I said, I'm going to chill on the, the ranting too much and just have a real conversation with my sisters. I love y'all, so let's have a real conversation. So, sisters, I got a question. Women in general, but sisters mainly, are you an adult or not? All right. And I want to ask that question because I see so many sisters that call into certain shows like Kevin Samuels uh, um, and um, it's, it's, it's a couple more that kind of lose me. Right. Oh, I see mediocre tutorial reviews. You know, what I'm saying sisters be on there talking and then I hear a lot of brothers make their comments and they be saying how a lot of women act like children or King Riches. You know, what I'm saying a lot of women and and. They will say certain things that's unfair, and then he'll ask a question like, okay, so, but men can take the critique, and then women will say, yeah, but you're a man, you should be able to take it. And then King Richards was saying to his wife, was like, okay, so essentially what you're saying, women are children then. And she's like, no, I ain't saying that. And he like, but you got to think, as adults, we critique each other all the time. So why do women think it's okay when they're not given, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote fair treatment by not being critiqued, but it's okay for men to be critiqued. So that's not fair. So I just want to ask sisters, like, do you think that, all right, like I said, are you an adult? Which, of course, we know if you're over 18, you are. But I just want to ask on the mindset, sisters, like, if, if a man says something about a woman, right, and even if it may be factually true, do you think that it makes sense? Let's say it that way. Do you think it makes sense for a woman to get upset versus dealing with the critique? All right. Now, I get it. If you be like, I don't know this dude. Why would I take his critique? I get that. But then you have a lot of women that would call Kevin Samuel show and then get mad even though they've seen the show before. Like, say they've seen the average at best clip and they didn't agree with it, why would you then call in to him and think, because if you say you're a 10, that's going to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make sense. Now, I know that, you know, generally speaking, man, we, we do get blunt objects thrown at us all the time in conversations, being called trash, Man don't this, he don't hold down the sister like he's supposed to. And I get it because you got a lot of brothers out there that don't do what they're supposed to do. Trust me, I totally respect that. But then my question would be, for a lot of those sisters, why do they keep messing with those men? All right, so those guys. So I seen on, I believe it was the Department of Justice.org or something, DOJ.org or something. And it was saying, statistically, one out of four women um, have been in, in uh, domestic abuse relationships, while one out of seven men have been, you know, abused by a woman. So, of course, those numbers are different, but they saying one out of four for women versus one out of seven. So those numbers are still kind of close, you know what I'm saying? But you see a lot of times that men are just, hey, you're a man, you're supposed to take it, right? And, you know... It's, of course, it's not right for a woman, but the thing is, a man can't just sit there and beat up on no woman. And I just be wondering that, you know what I'm saying? Like, why why is it that a lot of women want to, to challenge men in that way? You know what I mean? Like, maybe some of y'all ladies can answer that for me. Like, why is it that a lot of women want to challenge a man physically? And if not physically, then why financially? You know what I'm saying? And then, if it doesn't work out for a lot of women... Why do they complain that it's unfair? You know what I'm saying? Because we, we talk about equal opportunities, but it's not going to be equal. You know what I'm saying? The outcome is not going to be equal that women are going to catch up. Because another thing is with, all right, let's talk about the gender um, gap pay with men and women. I feel in my personal opinion and looking at statistics, when you look at certain fields, it may be 0.03% of women that work that feel like look at construction, right? Or look at sanitation for how many women drive garbage trucks or look at the field of moving furniture. Do you see women do, doing that? 
do you see women being road workers essentially? I mean, I've seen I've actually seen a couple of women actually um coming from that job. Actually being road workers. Now that I have now that I have seen before. I've seen women uh, road workers. But y'all excuse me. Kinda light there. Mm-mm. Okay, that's annoying because I'm I'm trying to get my groove on right now. But I have seen women workers on uh, road uh road workers before. But I've never seen women as electricians or plumbers or fishermen, especially not in Alaska where if God forbid somebody falls in the water while they're fishing out there in Alaska, you can die in three to ten seconds or something like that. I don't see I've never seen a woman roofer. So I say that to say this. I think a lot of times with the with the gap, the wage gap, the biggest reason is not because it's unfair. Like if you look at workplaces like, you know, white collar work or whatever, you're more likely going to see women in that field more so than blue collar work. And I mean, unless you talk about, you know, um, and no, no, <clears throat> excuse me, no shade being thrown. But like if you look at, you know, house uh, keeping that's blue collar, you know, because it's manual labor. If you look at. uh what else? I'm trying to think of something else. Um, you know, uh, laundry stuff like that. But generally, you'll see more women in white collar work, like banking, customer service. You know, what I'm saying because it's white collar work. It's more so you know working and using more of your mental capacity versus physical. You know, what I'm saying like typing is more about mental than necessarily just your your hands, right? So my thing is. I thought I almost had it, y'all. Yeah. I thought I almost had it. I must need to dump the, this side of it. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, it's like, so that's why I asked that question, right? Are you an adult? And my thing is, with with our women, especially our sisters, right? Does it does it make sense that? All right. So when we talk about competition. And the things that men have to take. And not saying women don't have their own struggles, because they do. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Now I'm finna get in my groove, y'all. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. I'm lit. All right, so. But my thing is this. Adults essentially are to take things in stride, work hard, and try to make a way out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you keep your faith, right? But I just would be wondering how y'all sister feel about other women. Or maybe it could be you sometimes. That are complaining about things instead of trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm saying how it's unfair that men get to get away with certain things. But it's like, if you think about it, me and my partner talked about this before on the show. Men don't get away with everything like that, like you think, because you got to realize it. it's more men on child support. So men are not just getting away with not paying child support. From the last statistics I've seen, it was like 15% of the people that's on child support are women. 15. The other 85 is men. Prison systems. It's like 80-something percent, 80, almost 90 percent of people in prison are men. So... All the things that you say men could get away with, they're not. They're not getting away with not paying child support. They're not getting away with not doing alimony. They're not getting away, you know what I'm saying, with crimes. They're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the stuff. I think the biggest thing, men will be like, fuck it. I got to do what I got to do, whatever. It is what it is. More so than women do. And that's what I do respect about women. Women are more concerned about certain things more so than men are. But men, the thing I respect about us as men is we have to fix things. You know what I'm saying? We try not to sweat it unless we can do something about it. Like, you know, give me this grant, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change and the, power, the strength to change the things I can change, right? So I want to get your opinion. Like, real critique, real shit. What do you think is the reason that a lot of women would rather talk about, you know what I'm saying, say certain things instead of trying to fix it. Like, if you feel that men are 
more into the get more money then how come women don't talk more about going into construction more into electrician work more into plumbing work you know what i'm saying like are you an adult about it? are you able to be an adult about your situation and change it versus the complaints about it like what are you willing to do to change the gender gap pay like do you really want to change it you know what i'm saying like are you an adult about that do you feel like being an adult is able to just Complain about something or getting up and going to do something about it? That's what I want to know. Are you an adult? Answer, and I want y'all to answer my questions. I'm going to put it up. Y'all say it. Black ladies, black women, are you an adult? Get at me. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you feel or what you think. I'll get at y'all again. You know how I do. Chill.